All right, so you've decided that you want to start a running routine. Congratulations, that's awesome. But maybe you don't know exactly where you're supposed to start, and that's okay. Now, if you talk to a lot of runners, they'll tell you that running is a great metaphor for life because you can accomplish any sort of goal as long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other and remember to take deep breaths. Now, the same is true of your running journey, of your fitness journey here. No matter what your starting line is, no matter what your beginning fitness level is, you're going to be able to reach that long-term goal, in this case, being a runner, by taking one metaphorical step at, the time, step at a time. But you're thinking, okay, what does my first step look like? Good question. Here are a few ideas to get you started. First thing you wanna do, find yourself a running route where you feel safe and comfortable. You might wanna do laps around your neighborhood. You might prefer to go to the park or to your local bike trail. You also wanna make sure that you're entertained. Get some music a good podcast, an audiobook, but whatever you do, make sure that it's not distracting to you. Don't keep it up too loud and always be aware of your surroundings so that if there's somebody who's trying to pass you and they say on your left, that means that somebody is coming up on your left hand side. At the same time, you want to make sure that any cars that are driving by, you know that they're a safe distance away from you. Remember, safety first. A huge part of how you start your running routine is going to depend on your individual fitness level when you begin. So, can you walk 30 minutes at a moderately brisk pace? If you can't, that's a good initial goal. Once you get to that point, you're walking for 30 minutes, you're going at a pace uh, that breaks a light sweat, raises your heart rate, then all of a sudden that's when you know, hey, I'm ready to start throwing a little bit of running into the mix. Start running for two minutes at a time and then walk for five minutes. And then run for two minutes and then walk for five minutes. And do that as a part of your routine for a week. Once you're able to do that, then you can bump the running up to five minutes and scale the walking back to two minutes and do that for a week. If you need more guidance in creating a routine, download a running app. Couch to 5K is a great option, especially for beginners. One of the hardest parts about starting a running routine is overcoming the mental block behind running. What do I mean by that? I mean, there are gonna be times that you wanna stop. There are gonna be times that you wanna slow down and walk, and that's okay, but one of the best things you can do is to keep running no matter how slowly you're going. You know, it's all right to run slowly. It's all right to run at three or even two and a half miles or two miles an hour. What's important is that you maintain that running, that running posture and that running stance. And just keep with it and keep that mental status of saying, I'm going to push on and I'm going to keep running. Sometimes no matter how enthusiastic you are about your running routine, you're still going to have a little bit of trouble finding inspiration and motivation. Virtual races are a great option because you're able to run by yourself, track your distance and your time, and then submit your results to see how you did compared to some of the other participants. You're able to connect with some people on the virtual platforms and you get some great fellowship and some camaraderie. You'll also be able to benefit some local charities. Charm City Run is a great option for some Maryland-based races. You can also check out Gone for a Run. They have some cool challenges, plus some really sweet swag that you're definitely going to want to try. But look, 5K challenge, 10K challenge, um, a half marathon challenge, or, oh hey, a full marathon challenge, in case you're really committed.